Cristobal Island Galapagos. It's a lifelong dream for us to dive in Galapagos. We hope that it'll be as awesome as we know it's gonna be. <laughs> the last time Cindy cried was in uh, Botswana, or Kowango. Actually, actually, it was yesterday when we were watching the stupid movie. Okay, we were watching Seven Pounds on the TV and she cried. What I meant was the last time she cried for like going to a place was in Africa one year ago it's Galapagos yes imagine, Galapagos imagine so we're here sea life that you're gonna see in Galapagos everything is only meant for this place okay I shall let her cry for a while bye My name is Santiago. I am the naturalist and dive guide on board the Galapagos Sky. I would like to show you the beautiful boat that you're going to spend a week on board. Uh, I would like to show you the boat from the top all the way down. We're going to start with the sand deck and that area is one of the most comfortable places just to relax. We have some chairs and hammocks. I'd like to also show you that we have an outside bar here that we have parties at night. We just take down all the uh, alcohol last night. We will fill it up later. Now we would like to show you a corridor where we have all the uh, upper cabins. Please follow me. In that area we have four main cabins that you can have two beds together and do a king size bed with a nice windows to the ocean view. This is the bridge. I pass you and I come back later, okay? Go for it. Hello, I'm George, captain of Galapagos Sky. I'm sailing here in Galapagos, this beautiful and unique place. This is the boat, this is the bridge. From here we control all the ship and we have many devices in order to have a very safe navigation. We have radars, for example, there. This one is our radar. Um, you know, the radar, uh, it's very helpful, particularly at night, and also to see the distances between the ship and, and the islands. Uh, from here we control the ship, the, um, the engines, and directly, it's a remote control. Uh, we have uh, the wheel, everyone knows the wheel, but this is very nice because it's, at this time, uh, sophisticated ships have no wheel, just joystick, but these have a wheel. Uh, compass magnetic, this other um, satellite compass which, uh, which um, show us the exactly heading we are uh, going. This is the, um, it's not working now because it, here is very deep but it's the video sonder, other radar and my 
personal cell phone. <laughs> well, also we have uh, uh, this one, which is which is very important because we used to locate the the divers in case of emergency. So we have everything in order to comply with the national and international regulations in terms of our safety. And of course, Galapagos. What else we, we can ask? Very beautiful experience. Now I would like to show you the main lounge and also the salon where we have dinner. We have a buffet and we have plenty of space so everybody is relaxed. If you don't have enough drinks upstairs, we have an internal bar that we have plenty of drinks from whiskey to tequila, wine and other local uh, alcoholic drinks. Our uh, trail, basically, how we start and we end this trip in the Galapagos. We start in San Cristobal Island, which is the capital. Then we went all the way up to Cape Marshall. After that, we did Punta Vicente Roca, around the north of Isabela. Afterwards, we went to the most beautiful dive site that is Darwin and Wolf in here. After that, we come back to Marshall, and then we came to um, Roca Blanca. This morning, we dove in uh, Customs Rock, Sullivan Bay, and now we are heading to Santa Cruz. After that, we go back to uh, San Cristobal to departure. We actually covered almost 600 nautical miles around this trip. One of the most important parts of the dive boat is the diving area. We have 16 dive stations with nitrous and air, and we have plenty of space for cameras. Okay, so please follow me and have a look around the area. So once you have seen the boat, I would like to invite you to go diving. Come with me. Once we approach, we will see a colony of uh, flightless cormorants. 
Then we go along and then we will see some penguins in the corner. Probably some booby birds. It has been raining, so birds normally like to go up higher. And eventually some marine iguanas. Okay, what is very interesting, not only the animals, is that formation here. You will see a dramatic change of color from one side to the next. In geology, we have volcanoes that you see along the cliff over there. All those are shield volcanoes that we have in the Galapagos. And around those volcanoes, we have different cones. Cones that are, has been formed for different fissures along or around the volcano. So the lava escape and the way up, uh, the way up and out of the, the volcano on the flanks, this lava lose power, basically heat, and also become very uh, or high viscosity, okay? And uh, when that happened, some of this lava basically go out of the surface, as you see those black lines over, that, over there, we call it in geology dikes. So over there is a crack over there also, you can see there. So it's, a, it's an amazing uh, power and pressure that break through and escape out of the lava. But the lava before that happened was actually under the water and this lava, which is around 11 to 1200 degrees Celsius, reached the surface. So into the water, it cools off very slow and become a solid lava. But once this lava reach the surface, have a combination with oxygen, water, oxygen and whole lava, and explodes and pulverize and become volcanic ash. So what you see here is the first stage, which is full of gas and it's still solid, but collapsed constantly because it's not solid lava. We call this scoria or gravel. And the other side here is compact ash. We call it tough cone, T-U-F-F, -F, which means compact ash. And that is the combination of these three elements, hot lava, water, and, and uh, oxygen. Today, God knows why, the current actually is completely different. It's coming in that direction.
okay? And I don't know if you, you noticed, but we have a thermocline that is going in one way and the warm water is going in a different way. That makes actually some turbulence that we call the washing machine. Some of us feel the bubbles going in and out. You are in three, four meters of the set and you are in 10 and then you are fighting, coming, trying to come in up to the surface.
Commander, which sent those calls snap in the middle of the Mari Australis.
Mutual Production of Shinnok.